the first quarter I was actually at Stanford, that was a little bit reinforced. I got the worst grades of the whole time I was at Stanford. I got a D in COM1 my freshman year at Stanford. I pitched Pandora 350 times to investors and was told no. One person in the dissertation defense decides that my last chapter is crap. My first drafts are awful. I just, I really remember thinking, I don't belong here. I shouldn't be here. Like I was an admissions mistake. Somehow my file got through. I was not used to working really hard and not being successful. Once I began telling people about it, then I was able to find the resources and supports on this campus that exist. When I came out of it, I thought I've actually learned something. I've gotten some experience out of this, which was a result of having to take a critical look at myself after getting this less than stellar grade. Take a step back and just do what I needed to do as well as I could do it from day to day. To me, the best thing I could do was do what I really love to do. With the, with the information that I had in my life at the time, pick the thing I really loved and you know, put my all into it. And it just goes to show you that you can't just take one failure or one bad year or one bad test or one bad experience and let it really rule your decisions. Your career is not a grade that you got on a piece of paper. Our life is a draft. It's constantly in revision.